Alright, welcome back. So, as of my last video, I said that there was something that I had to say. On August 9th, 2019, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. So, in this video, I'll be going over what you have to use, what to do with them. Yeah, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to have a look at these first. In here, there are 204 fast click lancets, which we'll use with these. So as I need to change mine, because it says one there, I'll open it, get a lancet. Step one, you take this top bit off. This doesn't matter. Secondly, there's like this two grey bits here. You just take them off, take that out. You can put that where you want. I'm going to put them here right now. And then what you do is you just find where it will go in. So I've just found it. You just click it in. And as you see now, it now says six. So all you've got to do is you've just got to slide this back on. And then you can use it. Right. So that's that. Secondly, let me move this actually. These are BD Viva pen needles. So they look like this and they're used for your insulin pen. Which I've got right here. So I'm not going to do it right now, but you would usually take this bit of thing off the top you would screw it onto here you would take this bit of plastic like sort of don't know and then you would take that green bit off and then you would be able to twist it up to how many insulin that you need and then you would just inject so I'm not going to do that right now um, put that back in there right. So you can use these on your uh, Lantis as well. So you can use them on both of these. You can use it on the Lantis, or there might be a different one. I've forgotten what it's called. Or you could use your Nova Rapid, which is with the ones before meals. And when you get to it, you can use it for correction doses. If you go too high, they have a high hypoglycemia and then these lantists are used before um, you go to bed which are long acting insulin and you have to use them every 24 hours so if I put them away right next we go over to this so I've already covered how to change it so secondly if you want to uh, like so every single day you switch this over to the right and then back to the left because now you can see that says five that means that there's five more days left in it so like you can use it just like before meals you can do it before your lantis but I don't really right. these are what goes in to here these are AccuCheck Aviva test strips they look like this and to use it you will need to use the like sort of piano key side this top bit here and you'll get your um, I'm on expert meter but you could use whatever one you have and then you would just slide it into the bottom of here and then mine turns on and then obviously I'd use this to get the blood and then you just put it onto this yellow bit here so I'm not going to do it right now because there's no point and I'll put this back in here right next thing onto this this is an expert meter an expert meter works like the first one you get. This is the second. You just put the test strip in. Or if you have a Libra, which I'll be covering in a minute, you use oh 
you use uh, the lever and if it says that you're within range then you can use bowl advice if you are in the first I'd say six months then I'd advise that you just do um, a test before meals but you can use bolus advice which basically is you just put your carbs in and then you can like also say if you're doing exercise you can put in any exercise and then say if I was having a bowl of wheat a bit so I'd put in 30 carbs And then I would also put in, if say if I was doing foot the last off, I would also put exercise in. And that would equate to, so for my exercise it's minus 30%. So it would take 3 units of insulin and divide it by 30. And the exercise 1 would take off that amount. So I would usually be giving 3 insulin, but now I'm giving 2. So that's how exercise works. I'm not going to do it because I don't need to. To see your data, you just go over to my data. Then you go over to view data. So you just click on it. And then you can have a look at all of your like BG tests. Which is handy if you're going to um, clinic to have a check. Right, next is the Libra. Some of you might have noticed whilst viewing this that I've got this on. Don't worry about that, that was an accident. And then with a Libra, you can use, I don't have it on me right now, but there's like a Libra scanner, which you just press start new sensor, scan it on the back, and then it will just save ready in 60 minutes but I do it on my phone so I'll go show you what there it is and I'll show you what you need to go through to get it so you would have to download this app called Libralink here I'll show you it here um, Libralink Libra Freestyle Libra Link UK. It's like this, and then you just press open once you've installed it. You'd have to sign into your Libra Link account, which the doctors will set up for you, or the nurses. And then to do a new sensor, you don't have to press any buttons, you just have to scan the back of your phone on the Libra, like that. And now it says Libra can be used in 60 minutes new sensor starting up so that's how you use the Libra and then in 60 minutes time if you're gonna have a meal then you can just scan and then it'll just give you your numbers but yeah have I covered everything uh, oh no I haven't so inside of this I have my stuff to treat hypoglycemias which is when you go below 3.9 so for after you have a biscuit i usually have coke this isn't the normal size it's just they were sold out you would usually have 150 milliliters of coke uh, a dextrose that's the only ones that i really use but say if you were really low like one you would use this what you would do with it is you would like take this off, I've, I've never done it before, so you would just take that off, you would rub it with it and then you would rub it into the cheek, which will cure it if you can't, if the person who's diabetic can't do it themselves. So after the 15 minutes, which is how long you have to wait before you can test again, you have to um, have a biscuit if you're not eating for two hours. Uh, yeah, is there anything else in there? What's this here? Ah, say if you're on expert meter like me and you need to do ketone test, you would get the first scanner that you got. You would tear this open with the little tear thing there. 
you would just put it in here and like normal blood so you would just prick your finger and put it on there and it'll tell you how many ketones you are so the range to sort of be in is 0 0.6 to 0 when I've usually done it it's usually around 0 0.1 which is good Wait, yeah so when you do ketones you just need to like know what levels that you have to be in between also with this the way to turn it on is you press this button here to turn it on and off 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 and on even oh, no. um to change the brightness you can press this like sort of sun button and it changes the brightness so yeah it goes from dark, semi light, and then light. Also, if you go onto settings, you can go on to reminders, BG test reminders. So after high, I have off because like you don't really need that on. After low, you need to keep on. After meal, I have off, but I still know when two after two hours is. Alarm clock is just like, so say if you need to do something at 7 or like any time, you could change the time as well. Date reminders, doctor visit, like you can just say it will beep quite loud when you need to go to the doctors. If you've got a lab test, which I've had mine pretty recently um then you just can put a timer there but i don't you can go on to meters i advise that you don't change any of that the only thing that i would say is go you can change reminders if you want that's the only thing that you should be changing so yeah i've covered most things i think have i yeah, so I've been a diabetic and you've got to see me. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, I guess.